Hey guys, in the video from yesterday, I showed you a very cool and very fast way how you can make hand drawings using Final Cut Pro for the iPad and then bring everything to DaVinci Resolve for the iPad. But in the community, a couple of people mentioned that you can also use Procreate so you don't have to pay the subscription. And I get it, we don't wanna pay subscriptions and Final Cut Pro isn't the best software. But this video is not about telling you that Final Cut Pro isn't the best. But the live drawing is very good. And I did not know that you can create animations with Procreate. So I looked into that and I found three ways how you can make animations with Procreate. So this video is two parts. Number one, I will show you the three different ways how you can create those animations. But number two, and I want to bring this point home because we all are creatives and all my channel is about speed. Those ways are more complicated and take way more time than the solution that I showed you yesterday. And I'm very honest with this now. I think if you have professional work and it's all about time and you have to spend one time the five bucks even to create a couple of animations, it's way more worth it than to create the animations that you can create here in Procreate. I will show you what I mean. So yesterday I made something very simple like this. You draw that in Final Cut Pro and done. You can even change the speed, everything, but it animates line by line. You don't have to do layers and whatever, and it's done. The only thing you have to do, what Final Cut Pro can't do right now is we cannot render a transparent background. That would be amazing, but it's an easy effect that you can apply in DaVinci Resolve for the iPad. So watch the video from yesterday and then it's done, finished. With Procreate, it works like this, three ways. The first one, it's also the one that I would recommend using you if you don't want to pay for Final Cut Pro because that's the easiest, but still it takes a couple of more steps. First of all, let's create a new canvas, screen size. By the way, this is not a big deal, but I couldn't even change it to 1080p or something that I need for my project. In Final Cut Pro, you will have the timeline resolution that you need. So it's easy drag and drop and it will sit on the position then you need. Here, you always have to rechange the positioning, which also is a couple of steps in the program. You get my point? First solution is the easiest and the most accurate by just screen recording your, your screen. You come up here and you do screen recording. I'm already screen recording, so I can't show you this. You change your pencil, so let's say to white, and you have a black background. And now I can draw here, do stuff and it will record all of this. I can finish my recording and use this video material in my program. So the problem that I have here is almost like yesterday Final Cut Pro, but you have all this stuff around. So one step more, you have to make a crop, crop all the step and still have removed the background. So it's just additional steps that you have to create. Also, you have to speed up the animation in DaVinci Resolve, but it works. That's the easiest workaround. So let's check out the other ones because of course I got a couple of recommendations how you can create that. And I don't want to rant about Procreate. Procreate is an amazing animation. Uh, like you can create stuff here that you can't do in Final Cut Pro. And if you do proper animations, this is the better software. But I want to show you how much more time it takes. So the first other solution is, let's say we come in here and we use something it's called here on the top video time-lapse replay. Automatically, it will record all the steps that I do. So I could now, for example, come in here and say, okay, my background color, let's do it green for green screen to make it easier to remove. Okay, perfect. My pencil is now white and now I do my stuff. I do some couple of lines like this and this, and I wanna have this as an animation. So let's see how it looks. Video time-lapse replay. Okay, maybe it's just too fast. I can't really see it. So let's just export that and see what we got. Export time lap time lapse. What? So it's saving it to my fo um, photos. So I can come into my photos now and check this video out. This video looks like this. So the big problem that I have here is that for like six sixty percent of the video, nothing really happens. Then everything fades. It's also removing the background stuff. You have to be aware of that and first change the background, reset the time lapse, and then start working, which is a couple of more steps. And then even like you can't see this here, but I did this before when I already made the reset. It doesn't really animate that stuff. It's just fading in and out. So I can't really use this. The workaround for that would be that you actually create multiple layers and make your animations per layer. So that means I make another layer and draw something, make another layer and draw something and make another layer and draw something. And if I now go back here to my replay, each layer will be a separate step. But I have a very big problem with this. If I 
export this video now and you make your animation like this and you take in account that you reset the, the time lay. So by the way, you can reset it like this. You can do this the following when you come in here, time lapse recording, just tap, tap that and it will ask you purge the video. Yes, we don't want to have this. And if I now hit this again, you reset your re time lapse. And from that moment, everything that you do will be recorded. But once again, there's a big problem with the animation that I showed you right now. It doesn't show me the animation of creating that line. Each layer is one step and it will record frame by frame that step. So it's not really smooth. To create a smooth animation, this is now solution number three, create a new canvas. We have a new canvas. The cool thing is with solution number three, you can even make a transparent background. So for that, we can just basically disable that one here. We have our white thing. We have to come up here to canvas and activate animation assist. So we see our animations. And now we can, for example, we see our, here now our layers and our frame by frame. I can make now a line here, add another frame, make another line here, add another frame, make another line here, add another frame, make this, add another frame, make this. And I can hit play and it will toggle through that. But you already see the problem here. The way this animation works is like when you create a real animation, like frame by frame by frame, stock motion. So I already did it wrong. I, I should have done it differently. I had to copy the layer before, create another line, copy the layer before, create another line to have the same result. Because if I now go and export that video, and the way you export the solution number three is here under share. And if you come up here to animated Havoc, this format, it will also allow you to have a transparent background. That's why we remove the background and it will actually create a transparent background. But you already see the animation. That's not what we wanted. And still, each frame is just one line, not an animation of the line. So to make the animation, let's go back. If I use this method, let's do this again. Size, so come up here, remove the background. So let's say if we wanna use this technique, oh yeah, activate the animation assist. Let's say we wanna recreate the animation that I did in Final Cut Pro here now with this function. You have to actually work like this. I start with my line, have to duplicate this one now, continue my line, have to duplicate this one. Come on, duplicate, maybe there's a keyboard shortcut. Why is it not duplicating? Okay, then I make it like this. I have to, I have to make this again. I'll make another frame. Make this again. Another frame. Make this again. If you duplicate it, it would be more accurate. But you already see the point. So the way it works now, it's creating this line. But if I'm not accurate, you also have this moving thing. If you want that, perfect. But it takes so much more time to create a proper animation. So once again, I'm not ranting about Procreate. I think if you use this proper, you can make amazing animations, like because we have all the tools of Procreate. You can draw and make beautiful animations. You could create your own cartoon here using that. You can't do this with Final Cut Pro. But the problem that I have, if we just want to do something fast to highlight something in a video like this one here, right? Those lines, animated smoothly, perfectly. Like maybe here in the video yesterday, I showed you that doing this just on the frame here. I see my frame. I can use this exactly like this. It's so much easier and faster in Final Cut Pro. And that is my point. So if you want to have it free, do it in Procreate, but it will take you so much more time. If you do it in Final Cut Pro, it saves you so much time. And I really have to bring this point home because, I mean, if there's another software where I can do this as fast as in Final Cut Pro and it's free, please let me know here in the comments, then use that software. But Procreate is not fast. It takes you time to animate. And sometimes we don't have time to do this. For that, there's animation people and then they do a proper job there. But if you just want to do something very fast, I still believe those five bucks is more than worth it. And I'm not saying that to promote the product. I still think Final Cut Pro isn't the best software, but this one feature is amazing and you can create your own library. This is also what I said yesterday. You can sign up for one month, create all the animations that you want. It needs maybe a one day and you create like 20, 30, 40 animations that you can reuse in the future and it would take you a month to create those same animations in Procreate. Think about that. One month of work and you do it in just one day with Final Cut Pro. Is that worth five bucks? Of course it is. If you work professional, of course it is. So sorry for my rant. Once again, thank you for pointing this out. Everyone who wants to use it, they do know now how to use it. But once again, I have to say Final Cut Pro isn't that bad when it comes to this one feature. And if you want to utilize that and you have a client work and he's even asking for the, hey, can you do this line thing very fast? Nah, yes, you can. So that's it for this video today. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something. See you in the next video. I'm Daniel. Bye.